In 2020, popular Nollywood actress Halima Abubaka took everyone by surprise when she announced the arrival of a bouncing baby boy. In an Instagram post dated April 5, 2020, the Kano Bon Thispian shared a photo of a baby hand and captioned it, A gift from God and I will cherish you for life. Biggest miracle, a boy, 3, 4, 20. Apart from the sudden surprise, many wondered who the father was as the actress wasn't tied to marriage or any man at the time. While others knowing the veteran actress very well and how she loves to show off, wondered why she didn't do at least the usual maternity shoot and gender reveal party trending among celebs at the time. Regardless, as with the Nigerian culture, fans churned out congratulatory messages to Halima Abubakar, praying for her and the baby. But barely two days later, the actress from Kogi State came under fire after she got busted for using the photo of a US-based woman's child to announce a baby's arrival. Well, two years down the line, the multi-million dollar secret has been let out of the bag, but it's not what everyone would have imagined. The 37-year-old screen diva in a recent leaked video and chat revealed how she enjoyed a long affair with Apostle Johnson Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministries and got pregnant for him. When the man of God insisted she delete the pee, which she refused, she lost the pregnancy mysteriously and began bleeding while her stomach grew uncontrollably. After going in and out of the hospital and visiting numerous spiritual centers looking for solutions, with people asking about her protruding belly, she claimed she faked having a baby. Fast forward to July 2022, the actress confesses her sins and points an accusatory finger at Apostle Suleiman to undo whatever he did to her spiritually. Did Halima Abubakar really fake having a baby to cover her sins? Is Apostle Suleiman really behind her health challenges? Hello guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. If there is any Nollywood actress who disappeared mysteriously from the silver screens but fans are still begging to come back, that will be Halima Abubakar. The controversial actress is quite an unforgettable one. Born on June 12, 1985, the movie actress and producer who hails from Kogi State was raised in Kano, where she completed her education. Halima Abubakar is a graduate of sociology from Bayero University, Kano. But it looks like sociology was never a calling and as soon as she got the chance, she switched to a career in acting. In 2001, the screen diva made her debut in Nollywood, taking a minor role in the movie Rejected. Upon getting a taste of how talented the Kogi beauty is, producers began to rush her and she immediately landed a lead role in the movie Gangster Paradise. The rest, they say, is history. Halima Abubaka has featured in over 50 Nollywood productions including Sleep of Fate, Area Mama, Men in Love, Love Castle, Secret Shadows and Tears of a Child. That's not all, she has won several awards for her stellar performance on the screens including Best Actress at the 2011 Afro Hollywood Award Ceremony. Off the screens, the CEO of Mode House Entertainment, a music label entertainment management company, was quite the big shot of one of the few Nollywood actresses who lived a really exquisite lifestyle. Now and then, the screen diva would be in the news for acquiring a new whip, often the luxurious ones. And in an interview with The Punch, Halima Abubakar said she renovates her house three times a year and changes her furniture once in three years. Flamboyant lifestyle was also quite the actress's second nature. You know, sleep in Abuja and wake up in Miami lifestyle. As expected, it wasn't long before people began to tag her as a Ron's girl. They claimed the roles she acts in movies are no different from her real life. Of course, like any other actress, Halima Abubakar always had a remarkable comeback. Her defense was always hard work, her plethora of side businesses and endorsement deals. There was also Apostle Suleiman, who she claimed was her uncle and regularly gave her money to chop life. Unfortunately, around 2015, the Kano Bon actress stopped featuring in the latest Nollywood productions until she suddenly announced the arrival of a baby boy in 2020. The screen divide shared a cute photo of a baby hand holding the mother firmly and in the caption told everyone that it was a gift from God and she would cherish the child for her life because he is her biggest miracle. Sparing fans no details, Halima Abubakar noted she welcomed the baby on April 3, 2020. The news completely gobsmacked her fans. While congratulation messages and prayers were still raining, 
an American woman whose Instagram username is Ariel, who recently welcomed a baby, called out the actress for stealing a baby's photo and demanded Halima take the photo down. The actress deleted the photo from her Instagram. In a leaked chat between the two women, the Nollywood actress reached out and apologized. In her defense, Halima Abubakar said she never claimed the baby in the picture was hers. She explained she was looking for a picture to announce the birth of a baby. And when she stumbled on the beautiful baby nails, she couldn't help but use them. The drama generated backlash on social media, with many Nigerians criticizing the actress for her action. Reacting to the criticism, a remorseful Halima came out again days later and explained she expected people to hear from her before bashing her. She said she could not post a photo of her newborn because of his condition. I didn't post because it was premature. God saved him. I just had to post this. For the people who didn't see me, I have no close friends. She wrote on Instagram. While many bought the story and continued churning out congratulatory messages, many were perplexed to why the actress didn't just take a snapshot of her own baby to post on social media. Well, it looks like the truth is finally out in the open after Alima Abubakar confessed recently that she never gave birth to a baby boy in 2020. In a leaked video recording and chat, the screen diva said she did all that to cover her sins and stop people from asking questions. The story published by a notorious Instagram blogger detailed how Alima Abubakar enjoyed a long and sweet affair with Apostle Johnson Suleiman, the general overseer of Edo-based church, Omega Fire Ministries. At the peak of her career, the billionaire pastor was reportedly the one funding her expensive lifestyle, shopping trips, vacations abroad, luxury cars, and even the purchase of a house. According to the faceless blogger, Halima Abubakar was not the only actress sleeping with a man of God who reportedly has a special liking for sleeping with more than one woman at a time but many other women in the entertainment industry. His relationship with these actresses is all for fetish reasons and have to do with growing his Auchi-based church. Sadly, Halima's relationship with Apostle Suleiman ended abruptly when she got pregnant. The man of God had reportedly insisted she deleted the P, but after she refused, she lost the pregnancy mysteriously and was bleeding for over six months. After this, her stomach began to swell. Initially, she thought it might be a fibroid, but after visiting several hospitals where it was confirmed that a problem had nothing to do with fibroid, the actress still couldn't diagnose what the issue was. She said she sought spiritual help. According to reports, in every spiritual healing center the actress visited, she was turned back because Apostle Suleiman was behind her problems and only he could undo whatever he had done. The actress who claimed the ailment almost claimed her life was forced to sell everything she owned and couldn't even open up to her close friend, Tonto Dike, because of shame. Years after, Halima Abubakar said her stomach is still big and her health is like the weather. Sometimes she is in severe pain and sometimes feels okay. So, to regain healthfulness, the actress said she is finally ready to expose Apostle Suleiman and all of his alleged escapades. Well, since this news went viral, Apostle Suleiman has neither confirmed nor debunked it. Instead, he took to raising insults on the faceless blogger who exposed the story. When I saw this clip, that one man of C-list, one man, I was just laughing. I was calling, but who be this one? Who be this one? We had this one day. <laughs> this one day. Yeah. Some of them are people who have come to my church. I should deny my children because you are writing something. The list is not long, self. Make it 200, Mumu. Or death. On the other hand, Halima has been receiving heavy backlash for reopening old wounds from both her colleagues and followers of Apostle Suleiman. Not one person has shown her empathy except a former friend, Tonto Dike, who seemingly reached out. In a post on Instagram, Halima, who has been engaging in a cyber war with other actresses calling her a liar, penned a note of thanks to Tonto and wrote, Tonto we go, that was sweet. All love from here, forever my girl. Apart from that, the actress seems to be living her life every day, doing promos and posting comedy skits on Instagram as if nothing happened. Amid the drama, she posted these photos with the caption, Thank God for the gift of life. What do you think about Apostle Suleiman and Halima Abubakar's relationship? Do you think the man of God is behind Halima Abubakar's health challenge? Lastly, 
Do you believe she faked having a baby to cover our scenes? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you'd like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.